the Cold War. It wasn't just about nukes and staring contests. It was a time of incredible military tech. Jets were getting faster, tougher, and scarier. Two of these metal marvels were the Sepika Jaguar and the Nanchang Q5. You might look at them and think, twins? Not quite. Sure, they're both sleek single-seat attack aircraft. Both designed to deliver a punch. But look closer and you'll see the differences. Like two chefs, same ingredients, totally different dishes. The Jaguar, a British-French collaboration, was a fancy sports car. Agile, powerful, and packed with the latest gadgets. The Q5, China's homegrown hero, was more like a muscle car. Brute strength and raw power. In this head-to-head, -head, we'll rip the tarmac off these two titans. Design, performance, firepower, and their battle scars. Who wins? Keep your eyes glued to find out. Picture this. The 1960s, Europe. NATO needs a new strike aircraft. Enter Britain and France. Always up for a challenge, especially when it comes to building awesome planes. They joined forces like two blokes down the pub with a brilliant idea. Thus, the Sepikat Jaguar was born. The Jaguar was designed for low-level attack runs. Sneak in under the radar, drop some bombs, get out quick. Think of it as a hawk swooping in for the kill. It was sleek, aerodynamic, with swept wings and a single tail fin. Powered by two Rolls-Royce Turbomica Ador engines, this cat could hit a top speed over Mach 1.5. That's seriously fast, but speed is nothing without firepower. The Jaguar packed a serious punch. Two 30mm cannons for starters. Then things get interesting. It could carry bombs, rockets, and even air-to-air -air missiles for when things got really hairy. This feline meant business. Across the world, China was busy too. They needed a jet, a tough one, to defend their turf. Something that could handle anything thrown at it. Their answer? The Nanchang Q5, a real bruiser of a plane. The Q5 was a different beast. Bigger and heavier than the Jaguar, it looked like it meant business. It had a distinctive design, a long pointy nose and a large swept back wing. Two turbojet engines gave it a respectable top speed, though not quite as fast as the Jaguar. But the Q5 was all about brute force. This thing was designed to carry a lot of ordnance. Bombs, rockets, you name it, the Q5 could deliver it with devastating effect. It also packed a pair of cannons, just in case things got up close and personal. Section 4. Head-to-head -head Spec Showdown Right, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. How do these two birds of war stack up on paper? Time for a good old-fashioned spec comparison. Mach 1.5 plus, 500 miles, approx. 10,000 pounds, approx. 2x 30 mm cannons. 7, Mach 1.12, 600 miles, approx. 20,000 pounds, approx. 2x 23 mm cannons, 8. The Jaguar is the speedier of the two. It's like a nimble boxer, dodging and weaving. The Q5, though, packs a heavier punch. It's the slugger going for the knockout blow. Both are deadly in their own right, like comparing a scalpel to a sledgehammer. Different tools for different jobs. Section 5. War Stories Jaguar and Q5 in Combat Talk is cheap. What matters is how these jets performed when the bullets started flying. Both the Jaguar and the Q5 have seen their fair share of action. The Jaguar flew for the British, French and Indian Air Forces, racking up combat experience in conflicts like the Gulf War and the Kargil War. It proved itself a reliable and versatile attack aircraft. Fast, agile and accurate, it delivered its payload with pinpoint precision. The Q5, meanwhile, saw service with China and a few other nations. It was used in border skirmishes and regional conflicts. While not as agile as the Jaguar, the Q5's heavy payload and ruggedness made it a formidable opponent. Neither jet was a slouch in the heat of battle. Each had its moments of glory, proving their worth in the crucible of combat. 
Section 6. Upgraded and up for anything. Like any good fighter jet, both the Jaguar and the Q5 have undergone upgrades over the years. New avionics, better engines and improved weapon systems have kept them relevant in the ever-changing world of aerial combat. The Jaguar, for instance, received upgraded navigation and targeting systems, making it even more accurate and lethal. Some variants were even equipped for aerial refueling, extending their range and loitering time. The Q5 also got a new lease on life with upgrades. Improved engines gave it more oomph, and modernized avionics enhanced its combat capabilities. Some were even modified to carry advanced air-to-surface missiles, making them even more dangerous. These upgrades ensured that both jets remained capable war machines, ready to face the challenges of modern warfare. Section 7. And the winner is... Probably not who you think. So who wins this clash of the titans? It's a tough call. It's like choosing between a Ferrari and a Lamborghini. Both are incredible machines with their own strengths and weaknesses. The Jaguar is the more agile and technologically advanced aircraft. It's faster, more maneuverable, and boasts a sophisticated weapon system. It's a precision instrument, ideal for surgical strikes and quick hit-and-run missions. The Q5, on the other hand, is the workhorse. It can carry a heavier payload, fly farther, and take more punishment. It's a blunt instrument, perfect for carpet bombing and close air support missions. Ultimately, the winner depends on the mission. Need a scalpel? Go for the Jaguar. Need a sledgehammer? The Q5 is your weapon of choice. But let's be honest, in a straight-up dogfight, my money's on the Jaguar. That feline's got claws. 